So one of the questions I get asked quite frequently, whether it's an email sent or a comment dropped on a video, is where to find alternatives to highly sought after discontinued fragrances. Well, I've got a great house that offers some great fragrances that are alternatives to, as I said, highly sought after fragrances. I've spoken about them quite a bit. I'm talking about Athena fragrances, and I've spoken about Smoky Plum. This is it right here. And Smoky Plum is a great alternative to Tom Ford's now discontinued Plum Japonais. Now, there's rumors that they are going to bring back Plum Japonais. I don't know when they're going to bring it back, but Smoky Plum is a great alternative. But we're not stopping at Smoky Plum. I've got five total alternatives of highly sought after discontinued fragrances, four in the main video and one alternative as a bonus fragrance. If you want to find out about these, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yeah, today we're talking about Athena fragrances, which makes great alternatives to, as I said, highly sought after discontinued fragrances. Sometimes the best fragrances get discontinued the quickest. Some of us fall in love with these fragrances and uh, all of a sudden it's gone because it's not selling, an ingredient gets banned or removed or gets uh, too expensive to, to produce the fragrance and things like that. So the fragrance gets discontinued and we didn't buy a backup bottle. So that is one of the reasons why why you guys come to me and ask me for alternatives and uh, as I'm saying Athena fragrances make some really really great alts or alternatives to uh, discontinued fragrances and this plum Japanese alternative smoky plum is perfect I'm gonna smell it on camera and then also smell the original plum Japanese on camera and tell you how they compare and then we've got three more fragrances in the original video and we also have an, a bonus one that is a bit higher price than these in a different bottle but also a great alternative to more of a modern fragrance. All right so Plum Japonais launched in around 2013 and I believe it got discontinued towards the latter part of the 2010s. It could be earlier than that as well and I never bought a bottle and I was always looking for one. This one somehow ended up coming my way from a friend who was getting rid of a bunch of fragrances so I'm happy to have a 50 ml of this but I ended up discovering Smoky Plum from Athena Fragrances way before I got that uh, bottle of uh, Plum Japonais. So the original fragrance Plum Japonais features notes of Japanese plums, oud, cinnamon, saffron, amber, benzoin, fir, vanilla, plum blossom, immortelle, liqueur, camellia, cypress. A lot of different notes. It had oud, the oud was popular around the time that Plum Japonais came out. But I like this fusion of unique notes, cinnamon and Japanese plums, saffron and amber. We've got vanilla and fur. Definitely noticed a fur note. So how does Smoky Plum compare to Plum Japonais? Let's go ahead and test it out. I've actually worn the Smoky Plum quite a bit. I haven't worn the Plum Japonais too much because I need to save that one. But in contrast here, there's definitely differences for me. And I find the uh, Tom Ford a bit denser and uh, less fresh than the Smoky Plum from uh, Athena Fragrances. But pretty much that's it. I mean, I think there's differences, definitely noticeable on skin, but much more than testing on strip. But for me, there's a bit more density with the uh, Plum Japonais in comparison to Smoky Plum. But as an alternative, if you're not going to test them side by side, you don't have your current bottle of Plum Japonais, I think Smoky Plum is going to be perfect. Perfect because, if I can get that, on now if uh because it's only 65 dollars all of these fragrances i'm going to recommend to you as alternatives to highly sought after fragrances are 65 dollars but uh the only one that's going to be a bit higher is the one in the bonus section that's why i left it off there so if you're looking for a great alternative to plum japonais this smoky plum is so good as a great alternative i think it's going to satisfy and it won't break the bank and for 65 dollars i think it's going to do a great job so let's move on to the next fragrance so one of my favorites fragrances from 
Maison Francis Kirkjohn got discontinued around the height of the pandemic. And it just totally caught me off guard and I never ended up buying a bottle of it, a backup bottle of it. But I have a half a bottle left and I'm going to keep that way in the dark, dry place, which I always do with my discontinued fragrances. This is uh, Absolute Pour Le Soir right here. But uh, Athena Fragrances has a great alternative called Hive. And once again, we have Hive here for $65 for 100 ml, which if you're looking for Absolute Pour Le Soir, definitely this is a great alternative. So I like that there is a great alternative to Absolute Pour Le Soir because what I like about Absolute Pour Le Soir is the honeyed ambery touches, but definitely very animalic and musky and also sweaty with cumin. It's a to die for fragrance. Now, when you compare Hive to Absolute Pour Le Soir, which I'm going to do right now, you can totally notice that you know, it's $65, right? So it's not as luxurious smelling as uh, Absolute Pour Le Soir is. I'm smelling Absolute Pour Le Soir. It's fantastic. Love it. It was one of my favorite fragrances from uh, Maison Francis Kirkjohn. But when you compare it to Hive, you'll definitely notice that it's not as luxurious smelling. So some of the ingredients probably they're using is not as expensive as Absolute Pour Le Soir. But once you get past that, they are so similar and so super sexy. I absolutely love these. Uh, it's a great, great alternative. Now, I don't know why I'm having a difficult time focusing here with this camera all of a sudden. But Hive is a great, great alternative to Absolute Pour Le Soir. And I know that's one of the fragrances I was so, so disappointed about being discontinued. Now there's a great alternative for it from the House of Athena, which only costs 65 bucks. So Hive, if you've been looking for that great alternative to Absolute Pour Le Soir, get it now. I think you're going to be happy with it. Uh, it's going to satisfy. I just wish I had a fuller bottle of this. Uh, but that's that's all I have. That's all I have because that fragrance is super fantastic. One of the best fragrances from Maison Francis Kirkjohn. It launched with the brand initially in 2009 and it got the axe like 10, 11 years later. I believe it was around 2020, so 11 years. And um, glad to have a great alternative for it with uh, Hive though from Athena. All right, here we go with the fragrance that was discontinued when I first got on the scene reviewing fragrances back in 2012. I believe the fragrance initially launched around the mid 2000s and by the time I got into reviewing fragrances they had already discontinued this and they had moved it into a different bottle. I'm talking about YSL's Rive Gauche Pour Homme. There we go. Rive Gauche Pour Homme was a beautiful really classy fougere barbershop fragrance and what i like about this barbershop fragrance is it had star anise so it was a bit licorice -y. and it also had loads and loads of aromatics like lavender geranium it had rosemary but it also had cloves so there's a bit of warmth in there thrown in with the spices and aromatics and of course it's going to have tonka or coumarin and some citruses as well so this is a great fragrance but uh there's a fragrance from the House of Athena Fragrances. Once again, it's an alternative uh, inspired by YSL's Rive Gauche Pour Homme. This is called De Flor right here. So let's go ahead and smell the two and compare them. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you smell it, it's like similar. What I liked about YSL's Rive Gauche Pour Homme is... None of, none, no alternatives that were fougeres came close. Something about the combination and the star anise in the fragrance made it very unique compared to others. I mean, some things came close, but they were always missing or lacking that star anise note. So it made it not smell identical. Here with De Flore, I think they've done a great job creating something that smells very, very close. And also something that is pretty, you know, expensive smelling. There's a bit of difference for sure, but very close. If you're not going to put them side by side, you're definitely not going to notice uh, the differences. You're going to think, wow, that is Rive Gauche from the house of YSL. But in the end, it's De Flore from Athena Fragrances and uh, wonderful offering here. So Rive Gauche was always one of my favorite fragrances. And the reason it was one of my favorite fragrances is is because I was so, I guess, because when I was young, my mom wore Rive Gauche Pour Femme, 
uh, in the blue bottle, similar bottle, but in blue. So when I saw this as a male fragrance, I always thought, oh my God, now there's a male version of that amazing bottle. Because I, I really love this bottle. But uh, it was quickly discontinued. And uh, wait, I'm having a difficult time getting this focused again. But now that it's gone, it's been gone for a long time. And it was moved into this collection of fragrances from YSL uh, that were in square bottles. Uh, and then that's now discontinued as well. That got discontinued in 2019. I remember when I heard that it was getting discontinued or pulled. And I was bummed. So there's no versions of uh, YSL's Rive Gauche Pour Homme left anymore, but we do have De Flor, as I said. And for 65 bucks, I think that does the job to be a great alternative to YSL Rive Gauche. And the next fragrance I'm going to talk to you about, and the last, until we get to the outro, and after the outro with another bonus option, with a more recent discontinued fragrance. This next one is a great, great alternative to one of my favorite fragrances once again. These are all one of my favorite fragrances because I wore these throughout the years and really, really loved them. And this one I wore in 97, 98, 99, and it could have gone into the 2000s. Uh, as well, uh, Y2K. But this is Gucci's Envy for Men right here. Who's a fan of this one? I know it's sought after. I know it's very expensive. I know people want a bottle of it. I ended up with this bottle because uh, a friend was getting rid of a bunch of fragrances and he gifted this along with a few other fragrances. I have a video on the channel if you guys want to go catch that. But Gucci Envy for me was so unique when I bought it. In 97, I was on a trip to Chicago and at the Macy's there downtown. I smelled it for the first time in 97 and really fell in love with it and really had to have it. It's a creamy, sandalwoody, spicy, zingy, ginger, incense cardamom kind of a fragrance which is really really fantastic and I believe this was created around the same time as Tom Ford when he was creative director at Gucci and what I like about it is the fact that the ginger melds really nicely with the sandalwood so in the end you've got this very smooth creamy sandalwood but there's some zing and spice along the way because the ginger has this kind of a bite to it, a kick, a spiciness that's kind of fresh spicy. So you've got that warmth, creaminess from the sandalwood and fresh and zinginess from the ginger along with other spices and things like that. Fantastic fragrance. But we've got Covalent from Athena Fragrances. And Covalent is a great alternative to uh, the fragrance uh, Gucci Envy for Men. Let's go ahead and smell it. Now, I've left uh, Gucci Envy for Men at the last, and I think uh, the reason I've done that is uh, order of preference of what I like. So the very first alternative, Smoky Plum, is my favorite alternative out of all, not my favorite fragrance, but my favorite alternative. And the last one is my least favorite, but still, they're all really, really great fragrances. I mean, great alternatives to these discontinued fragrances. And so... There are a bit differences between Covalent and Gucci Envy for men, especially when you're smelling them side by side. For me, there's a bit more zing with uh, Gucci Envy pour homme, I mean for men, uh, and I don't get the zing from the ginger in um, Covalent as much, but when it's not side by side, you'll totally be reminded of uh, Gucci Envy, which again, it was one of my all-time favorites. Uh, for a long time, really loved that stuff, but now we've got this great alternative Covalent from Athena Fragrances. You know what I want next is an alternative to Gucci Rush. After Gucci Envy, they launched Gucci Rush. It was in the white bottle and it was a cedar focused fragrance, but really like cedar trees, you can smell it. Really love that fragrance, wore two bottles of that as well after Envy. Uh, I need to get myself a bottle of that because I don't have one. But hopefully, maybe the, the folks at Athena will make a, uh, an alternative to uh, the Gucci Envy for men. But these are great, great alternatives. As I was saying, if you're looking for alternatives to the fragrance Plum Japonais from Tom Ford, you've got a great one with uh, Smoky Plum. And then if you are needing an alternative to Absolute Pour Le Soir from... MFK, you've got Hive, 
great alternative here. If you're looking for an alternative to YSL Gucci, uh, YSL Gucci, YSL Rive Gauche Pour Homme, uh, you can use uh, De Flore as a great alternative. And then last but not least, Gucci Envy for Men. Great alternative to that is uh, Covalent from uh, Athena Fragrances. Let me know your thoughts on Athena fragrances. As I said, I've spoken quite a bit about Smoky Plum, but not the other fragrances. Smoky Plum is a great, great alt for Plum Japonais. Um, so definitely highly recommend. But I recommend all of these. And if you're looking for the alternatives, uh, definitely check them out. But let me know if you've tried these fragrances and let me know if you've tried any of their other fragrances. But I'm highlighting ones that are discontinued and hard to find because you guys come to me and ask me to find alternatives. And these will make great alternatives to those discontinued fragrances. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. All right, guys, as promised, I have one bonus option for you here, but it comes in a different bottle than what you see here. This is De Flore from Athena Fragrances, but the fragrance I'm going to talk to you about in this section comes in a different bottle, but once again, it's an alternative for a great discontinued fragrance, but in a more luxurious looking bottle like this. This is Abha from Athena Fragrances, and it's a great alternative to Raja Parfum's now discontinued Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Any fans of this fragrance? You know what? This used to be one of my all-time favorite fragrances from Raja Parfums. In fact, I have a full review of this on this channel. On the channel, you can go catch it. Sadly, it's gone. But we also did a full bottle giveaway at the time I was working with Saffler Bond. I'm not with Saffler Bond anymore, and I don't have these kind of very luxurious giveaways anymore. But for a while there, I gave away so we gave away so many. Raja Parfums fragrances with all the reviews I did. But these two fragrances are great as, uh, you know, alts for one another. And Abha smells so, so close to Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I'm going to go ahead and smell for you on camera. If you smell them away from one another, you're going to think that it's the other fragrance because they smell so, so similar. So close. It's so close. I just get like very similar fragrances. It's a great, great alternative for Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And I'm just wondering why that is so close compared to some of the other ones. We're not as close because this also smells as luxurious as Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And remember, I was mentioning one of them didn't smell as luxurious as the other in the, the previous part of the video. But I'm just wondering, perhaps because Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, maybe perhaps it's more of a recent fragrance and some of the other ones were created longer and they were able to dupe it better that way. I don't know why, but man, if you are looking for a great alternative to Kingdom of Saudi Arabia from Raja Parfums, there we go, then uh, definitely try Abha from the House of Athena Fragrances. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye.